starting with one four to five pound second cut. I prefer the second cut. It's all cooks in the know, all chefs in the know, know that first does not mean superior. You can of course use whichever one you want. The first is much more leaner. The second has a lot more fat and produces a really moist finished product. In general, I don't really trim the brisket. If a recipe calls for trim brisket, so say you might want to trim it to no less than a quarter inch of fat because you don't want to cook a brisket without any fat. Now the first thing we're going to do is pat the meat dry. So just take some paper towels because moisture and water doesn't steam. So if we want to do that crucial brown before we braise step, we want to make sure that our meat is nice and dry. So we're going to hit it with both sides. Okay, great. Now, this is a simple rub. We call this a Dalmatian rub. 50% salt, 50% pepper. Of course, I'm using kosher salt. Now, we spoke about my three golden rules. Now, the first golden rule is rest after you rub. Okay? So, ideally, you want this meat to rest about an hour or from 24 to 36 hours in your fridge uncovered or very loosely covered with plastic wrap because you don't want to uh, seal the meat and therefore you're going to have like moist meat. The whole idea is that the salt should penetrate, firm up the meat, start tenderizing it and draw the moisture to the surface so we have a nice, dry, beautiful piece of meat to get a really good sear on. So ideally, we said rest after you rub. It's going to finish this little seasoning right here. Be generous. Don't be scared. Even with kosher meat, I salt the meat. It draws out the flavors of the meat. The koshering or koshering process, especially in a cut like brisket, it doesn't retain all of the salt from that, so don't be scared. Rest after you rub, one hour or 24 to 36 in the fridge.